Good morning, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's Calorie Crush and here I am, I wasn't sure whether I would be but I am here. Thank you for all the comments on last week's video. Two things that I'm desperately trying to remember before before I get into the thing. One, somebody said to me that they were envious of my eyebrow, eyebrow flicks, they'd never managed to master them and how did I do it? The answer is very plain, I cheat. I use this, it is by Foera, it is a winged eyeliner stamp. The end of it is shaped, I can't get it to focus, so you literally stamp it, it has two ends, one for each, one for each side, one right, one left. You literally stamp it on and then you just join the lines up with liquid eyeliner. I have never been able to master wings either but that makes it easy and I will link it below as always. <laughs> the second thing is that one of the comments was maybe it's time for a, a gastric sleeve or where's that effect. I don't want surgery, that's not, that's not a road that I want to go down. I'd rather stay fat for the rest of my life than have decision altering surgery by which I mean I'd, I'd, I'd rather make my own bad decisions <laughs> than have a physical procedure, a surgical procedure that prevents any choice, any, you know, I don't, I don't want it, I don't want it. It's, um, I realise that it works brilliantly well for some people. I'm also aware that even after, after gastric operations, people have regained all the weight that they initially lose because it doesn't retrain your thinking. That's what I'm trying to do. I may not be very successful at retraining my thinking but that's what I'm trying to do over the period of this journey. Here we go with journey again. Over, over this entire thing I'm trying to retrain the way I look at food and the gastric sleeve doesn't do that. It simply physically prevents you overeating for some time. You can re-stretch your stomach, you can, you can burst your staples, you can do all sorts of peculiar things if you don't change the way you eat in here. So I'm gradually trying to change the way I eat in here, to the way I think about food, the way I look at food, and I don't want to go down the surgery route. So those were the two things that I wanted to remember from last week's comments that I specifically, excuse me, that I specifically wanted to address before I went on. And the reason I put them in is because I've got brain fog and I don't remember things. So here we are, another week further on. I didn't know whether I was going to carry on doing the videos. I still don't know for sure whether I'm going to carry on, but it is, I didn't want to miss this one because it has now been two years. Today's video is week one of year three. I'm going to change that in the thumbnail as well because it said year two, week 52, and that's made people believe that I've done two years and 52 weeks. So I've, I've the phrasing of it is bad. So I'm going to change that around in the thumbnail so that it says, you know, week one of the third year or something. I'm not quite sure what, but just to make that more clear, I haven't been not doing this three years. I've been doing this two years. I am literally, this is the beginning of the third year. This week is, is the anniversary of when I decided enough was enough and I had to make a change. And for those who are new here, the first year absolutely flew by and I did swimmingly. The second year I've done pretty much nothing. I haven't regained. I think I think I lost six stone in the first year and I've lost a stone in the second year. So I haven't regained. I haven't backtracked and, and, I, and it's not like I lost six stone and now I've only lost two stone, but I haven't progressed much at all in the last year. And I don't know whether I will progress further. I know that I want to. I know that I am not where I wanted to be. I know that there is still a target in my head. I've never told you guys the target that I had that I wanted to get to and don't intend to tell you really because I don't work well to targets and if I put it out there I feel like it won't do me any good in the long run. In here it won't help me but it's still in there, it's still in there rattling around what I want to be in. and that target is drawn from the weight that I was in a certain photograph that I have and I'm like it's one of those photographs that I look at and you're like I wish I was as fat now as I thought I was then. So at the time you would have looked at that photograph and you're going look at the size of me and I got much bigger. So I'd be quite happy to be back where I was in that photograph and I know roughly the way I was at that time. If you can hear snoring, it's Buddy, he's down here asleep. So yeah, I've not put my target out there but it's, it's in here rattling away. Whether I'll ever reach it, I don't know. But what it means is that I'm not, I'm not done trying. I'm not done trying. This week has not been too bad. I have um, pretty much stayed within calories, a little bit over here and there but I found it easier. I haven't had a salad all week. I think I had a little bit of, is it Henry? Henry, a little bit of, you know, I'd, I'd eaten so much salad. Where we'd have the hot weather and it was like, I'll have a salad, I'll have a salad. I think I'd just burnt out. And, and part of the reason that I was struggling was because I was sick of what I was eating, because I was eating the same things. So this week I can't, I don't have to have salad if I don't want salad. I don't have to, it's okay. And I've stayed within calories without living on salad. You know, it's perfectly doable. I did a bit of meal prep. I did some sausage and sweet potato with um, 
roasted veg and I've got a couple of those still in the fridge so one of those to take to work with me today and stuff like that but I haven't thought about food all the time and that was one of the things I've spoken about before being a fat person people assume if, if you are fat that you are obsessed with food that you think about food all the time and for me it was the opposite the reason I got fat was because I never thought about food I never thought about whether this was good or bad, whether I needed it, whether I should have it, whether I'd already eaten enough, whether I should stop my... I never thought about food. I ate whatever I wanted, whenever I wanted, without giving it a second thought. And one of the things that I dislike about being on a weight loss journey is the amount of time I think about food. I don't want to be obsessing about food. I don't want to be thinking about, can I have that or whatever? And that's one of, that's one of my stumbling blocks. This week, I haven't really thought about food, but also I haven't eaten unthinkingly. So it's that mindful eating thing that people are, are, co are quite often talking about, isn't it? It's that it's not being on a diet as such. It's not rigidly trying to do this, that or the other thing. But it is being mindful and listening to your body. And that's what I'm trying to learn now. I'm trying to listen to my body going, I don't want anything. And a couple of times I've caught myself standing in the kitchen about to open the cupboards. And I've said to myself, are you actually hungry? No? Then why are you looking in the cupboards? You're looking in the cupboards because you're a bit bored? Because... Because you can't think of anything else to do, just because you don't know what to do next. I find that I am much more of an unthinking eater, much more of a grazer. I've always said I'm a grazer. I could quite happily never eat another meal again if I had to prepare them myself and just graze. Just pick up food all day long. One of the reasons I eat out so much is because I don't get enjoy cooking, as you know. But also, if he says to me you can never eat out again, but you can graze all day, I'd be okay with that. I would just graze and pick on crap all day long. Open the fridge, eat something, close the fridge, go away, come back half an hour, open the fridge, eat a piece of cheese, whatever, all day long. And possibly consume four or 5,000 calories in the process because it doesn't really feel naughty, does it? If you just haven't only had a little bit, only a bit, only a little bit. I've gone somewhere off tangent, I think. But I was, I was saying, basically, that this week I haven't drilled my head full of being on a diet thoughts, but also I haven't just eaten without giving it any thought at all. I've tried to find that, i tried to find and maintain that balance. And I think it's been okay. It's, I've felt better about the whole thing. Come on the scales with me. Don't come on the scales with me. If we all get on the scales, I'm not going to get anything on my board this week. I'll get on the scales. We'll see how I've done. Last week, I weighed £278. Monday. It's scales time. Two seventy six point four. I round that up to two seventy six and a half. That's a pound and a half off, and I'm very pleased with that. I've changed the camera angle slightly because I realised that the board wasn't even in shot. <laughs> um, a pound and a half off. I'm very pleased with because my current calorie budget allowance is set on NutriCheck for a loss of one pound a week so I'm very pleased to have lost a pound and a half that feels like overachieving like I said I've managed to sit within that um somebody said the problem with giving yourself these extra calories is you're not using them as a buffer you're just necking them I would like to point out that when you use phrases like you're just necking those calories that's really rude <laughs> maybe you didn't mean to be rude but it's really rude it's it's the nuances of speech you're just necking it as if I'm just as you know it's it's it's, it's words like Oh, what did a doctor say to me once? A doctor who'd never met me before. A doctor who'd never met me was a locum. It was a locum doctor who had never met me before. I'd never, I wouldn't know from a hole in the road. And I went to see her about something completely unweight related. I think I had a rash or something. And while I was there, she said to me, have you considered losing weight? And I said, well, of course I've considered losing weight. Look at the size of me. You know, and she said, well, it's just that you could consider weight loss surgery. Obviously, you wouldn't be able to gorge yourself anymore. And I was enraged I've mentioned it before I'm sure because I'd never met her in my life she had no idea whether I gorged myself I never do gorge myself I'm not a person who would sit and eat until I was bursting but I've always been a grazer and a picker and I never got hungry because I was always just gently topping up all the time never never felt hunger pangs ever because I was always always full not gorged but full and I was enraged by this and it's and that's what I meant about choice of words when you use words like you're just necking those calories the inference behind that, it, it, it rankles me. It rankles me. Words are important and the nuance of words are important. And especially in the written word, those things are really important. So if you find that someone's taken offence to something that you've said written down, it's possibly the way you phrased it. Possibly, and you probably didn't intend to be offensive in the slightest, but it's just phraseology. Anyway, um, as I said, that 
calorie allowance is set on NutriCheck for a loss of £1 a week, which means I can neck those calories if I want to. They're there for me to use. If I don't use them, all well and good. But there is no shame or disapprobation, is that a word? Disapproval? Disapprobation? I'm not sure what the difference is between those two things. I'm not sure if dis I'm not sure if I've made disapprobation up. Anyway, there is no nothing wrong with me eating those calories if I want to. They are part of my calorie allowance for a loss of a pound a week. So I have lost one and a half pounds this week, which means I can add one and a half pounds to my weight loss board. That's the one. This is the little one that has got half written on it. Total weight loss now standing at then seven stone five and a half pounds. Feeling okay about that. That is the half pound that went on last week off again and a pound to go with it. So that's okay. A pound to keep it company. That's fine with me. It is, as I said, the beginning of my third year of eating differently. I am going to carry on with these videos for now. I don't think I'm going to go back to recording the food diary just yet, although it is on the cards to maybe go back to that at some point. I've lost my thread. I've lost my, lost my thread. Um, but yeah, it's the beginning of the third year. I don't think I'm ready to stop recording my journey just yet. I feel like if I stop making the videos, perhaps I'll stop making progress altogether. And I don't want that. So here we go. Head first into the third year of trying to do this. If I lose another stone this year, it's still another stone progress, isn't it? If I lose five stone in five years, it's five stone progress in five years. It doesn't... Kaza said something that resonated, which, uh, which lots of people have said it before. For some reason, watching Kaza yesterday, it rang a bell and it was, this is not a race. I don't have to get there faster than the other person. I don't have to watch other people and go, she's lost three, she's lost five. This is literally Kaza's words. Um, I'm not doing well enough. It, this is my body. And I can go as slow as I want or as slow as I need to or as fast as I'm able to. It's It's entirely, it's entirely variable. This is... I'd like to point out that I record these videos quite early in the morning and my vocabulary doesn't get up until later on in the day. <laughs> Thank you for joining me for this morning's calorie crush. I'm very pleased to have lost a pound and a half. I hope you're pleased for me. And I am going to plod onwards. I'm off to Caroline's for a couple of days this week. Shouldn't really be a huge problem. Caroline actually cooks very healthy meals when she cooks at home. It's only if we eat out I need to make sure that I make good choices. So that shouldn't really be an issue. And apart from that, there's nothing in the schedule this week that could remotely be an issue. I don't know whether I'm going to eat any salad. I'm going to eat salad if I fancy it, rather than feeling that it's the meal. I think it had got to the point where it was like, what shall I have with my salad today? And that was very dull. So yeah, let's not, let's not make salad the be all and end all. I will be back next week. I'll have done the first week of my third year by then, and we'll see how I'm getting on. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate you watching as always. Take care. See you soon. Bye bye.